is to take matter to bracketed gossiping, telling bracketed that there are some people who are scrutinizing him, who are criticizing him, and so on. And bracketed also, I, I, I felt that he came out to also be making reference to that. That is not, that is, that is lack of professionalism. You shouldn't have pay attention to all those type of gossips because there's a big fight at hand. Instead of them to go there, on break it there, show them the video of Mubad lying on the bed, someone was shaking his hands. They were trying to deceive us that it was Mubad that was shaking his hands. And whereas that is someone, show break the videos of, of when Mubad was announced there in the car to put it on his platform. These are the things that they're supposed to go out with, but they're going there to gossip. They leave the big fight. They're facing people from personal vendetta to go and prove that, yes, they are the one running the justice movement. They can do whatever they want and they can and whatever they want they're going to do. So at the end of the day, we are all here, but that flimsy excuses that they're coming up with that you cannot fight the government. They should stop saying that. Because that excuse looked to me as if, okay, you want to you want to you want to misundo this case and later come out to say, oh we tried. We tried, but you know you cannot fight government. <laughs> Even the government themselves, their preliminary report, <laughs> their preliminary report has K leg. You cannot fight government. It's not a coincidence that the government, the police, when they took investigation of this case, they shouldn't see that house, that residence. It's not a coincidence that when Mubad's father went to the police station for a police report, it was rejected. All these are not coincidence. All these were done intentionally. And they play on the man's psychology and he fell into that psychology for him to bury Mubad on time at the end of the day. So when and from on from, from there going forward, there are ways the man supposed to have amended those errors. And he keeps making it worse. So when you're looking at it from outside, you question so many things. Is it that you're using this quest for a money venture making thing or you really want justice. This is what they're asking him. It's not like somebody's trying to go against him or somebody's trying to, or, or people are hating him for nothing. Or you, you need to criticize. If, if you really like somebody, if somebody is your friend, you must criticize your friend. That shows you are a good friend to that person. Not coming to tell your friend all the time when he's doing wrong, you want to tell him what he wants to hear. I'm not brought up like that. So whoever wants to talk should talk because um, it's so sad to see that somebody kill your son and they're trying to take everything from you that that son left behind. I've never seen that in the history of Nigeria. I've never seen a family that will sleep like that, to be honest. You know, that can even lead to questioning the man himself whether indeed or not he loves Mubad. And that's, those are the kind of questions, that the kind of thoughts that came into, comes into our minds. Whenever we look at the action, sometimes we'll just be on the bed, calculating everything, seeing the way everything is going on. We'll be forced to ask those questions because if it were us, we know what we would have done, okay? And we will even say even if somebody is mad, we will even say that at least the man should have done this or that, even no matter how worse. But when, but when you go around, you go and look, even that thing that is worse, they have still not done it, all right? They went to Berekete. They will come on the internet. They are taking internet for granted and for fools, those who are on the internet. Because those ones, most of them, they are just, maybe they are, uh, I mean, secondary school students, or maybe, I mean, they drop out, or I don't know if they are, they're not learning enough, they have good, proper, proper education. So, they, those ones allow them, they allow people to lie to them. 
people just can't say things and get get away with, with it like that. I mean, you know, for for me, I'm gonna ask them questions, real questions. <laughs> even even I'm, I'm a provide solution to them that okay, if it's like this, why don't you do this? Because I care. That's why I provide solutions to them. I don't just sit and stay quiet. And stay quiet. They went to Berkeley. They couldn't talk about embalming case. Because that show that they are serious. The evidence of this case is all over the street there. They would have done their own private investigating by going to into that surrounding where this crime took place. Um, Gure Sida is very close to Baba. He said he's a Lagosian. He knows in and out of Lagos. And he's political orientated the way he behaves. So he, I think he, he, he would have used his um, political sense to also go around very well. Those hospitals, the scene everywhere Muba touched before he go. He's supposed to, they're supposed to have been doing all of those things. There are neighbors around, there are people look for a way. The truth is they ask people questions. Maybe they hear one, but we know none of these things happen. All they just after is when you are objective about them, they target you, then they started um, looking for a way to fight back on, to you because you've asked a very straight question that will question their approach towards this quest of justice. It looks like Brekete have distanced himself from the GoFundMe. He has advised them, he's not part of this, he doesn't want to partake. I will give you Baba, go for your autopsy and toxicology and Give me the bill, I will pay. So, why are they still after this GoFundMe raising fund and so on and so forth? That the public, they keep sucking the public without momentum. They're not giving the public back what the public wants to hear and wants, wants to see. Why are they still after this donation? I don't understand. I was, I would, there was a time I was on this platform, in Pap on Papariano's platform, and we, they, long ago they were talking about this autopsy and toxicology, and there were some people who volunteered here to pay that money even. There were some people who volunteered here that I'm going to pay, you guys should go on about it, I'm going to pay. So I don't know, it's like, there are some people who want to like, take this justice thing to another dimension where... It's like some people are using them to exploit the thing and to make sure that we don't get to the truth of this matter. It's, 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 it's getting to that picture. Because the right thing needs to be done. But the right thing is not, they're not doing the right thing. The right thing needs to be done. What are all these protests for in America, in the UK, and so on? Are you taking advantage of it? Are you using it the right way? What have you done in house for you to say, oh, we've done our best, we've done so many things, there are evidence that we've done this, we've done that, but the government is suppressing it. When you throw petitions or whatever, whatever, bring it on social media, you, they're talking about underground, underground. The government is even the master of underground, even. You need to expose any little thing you deal with them because they're scared of this social media. I've seen many times here, Papa Rano have come out to give the public hope that it brought out some past events of murders that have occurred, whereby a king, has, a, a, the, the son of a king or a king, in, a, a king himself have committed murder offense, and he go for it. That means that... The son, that of, time they didn't, son of a king of Lagos. Yeah, and, and yeah, the king himself. Yeah, king himself, 1949. Yes. Of so, so, what that message means is that, is to give the public momentum that, yes, even that time there was no social media as this, there was no thing like phone where you can store information or whatever. They still do investigation and they go down for it. How much more now that we have all these things in front of us? So that shows that there is hope if the right approach is being taken. But everything just go on the ground. They're not following, they're not following the professional advice to really approach this case.
And what they just do is just to waste their time on people that is scrutinizing what they're doing. You cannot even take video um, um, the, the story of anti-justice people to break it. You are taking stories of people who are fighting for justice to break it. That is a very laughable. <laughs> that is a very laughing. Is that how how pain you are that someone is trying to? They must criticize you whether you are doing good or you are doing bad. People must question you. Either you leave that position, as long as you want to hang around there, you will face scrutiny. If you don't have the mentality to face that, then you should step down. They're just taking the public for a ride with what I'm saying. The other day they announced, I think some few months ago, they announced that they got the PRO to Baba. They just use that to play the public. At the end of the day, nothing like that. These are the things. There are intelligent people watching, but they might not come out to talk as I'm talking now. I've always been on the comment section most times. I don't come up, I comment, I talk from there, but I don't come up. But is 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 sickening all the time people come to say on this platform or wherever they're criticizing baba they don't like baba what are you doing what are you doing what is this there are that is not that is not the criticizing baba or they don't like baba they're just trying to put baba on the right track to do the right thing i've also witnessed on two occasions baba have come to this web uh, to this platform he was dropped why are they doing that for? Why? Why? Why are they doing that for? That is the question. It's like you don't want this man to hear the truth. It's because Baba is not who informed to is not who informed to some capacity about this case going forward. The only thing he knows about it is when he went to the scene, he saw that Mobile was embalmed on that staircase. Then he saw a pool of blood, which he did not say initially. You understand? It, if Baba would have gone to the police station that day, as he said, and told the police that in that house there is a bedsheet soaked with blood, that would have been better even that you told them. Did he say that? But we all understand that at the initial stage, they were all having one lawyer together, which is Falana, taking them on. Until when the thing started getting somehow, he now deflect from them and start running his own um, this thing parole with his own lawyer and people around him. So, because I've seen brilliant minds trying to help this case. I've seen intellectuals. I've seen people who think in the right direction. But we can't still get it right. What's the problem? There are people who are ready to support if things are done correctly. Because if you look at what they're doing, oh, uh, skill eighty-seven. I'm so sorry. Can I interrupt you, please? Yes, you can. Oh, thank you so much. Hello, Paprano. Hello, everyone. Um, my thoughts, my line of thoughts. I think uh, we start from uh, Bookie J's um, show, the one she did yesterday. I picked about three points there, which is a bit, uh, let me say, discouraging, kind of, yeah. The first one, she said um, she was trying to down, uh, downplay the role of uh, Sam Larry with the issue of bullying and everything, uh, comparing it to um, uh, Wasi Aide Marshall's uh, drama and everything, saying, why are we not facing that, this and that? That is the first point. Then the second point is um, the legal team. How would they leave the 16 or 15 occupants in Mo's house, then go ahead to petition Sam Larry that's already, already been uh, in for bullying. It doesn't make sense to me. If you want someone to, like, um, Is that a confirmed about... information about petitioning Sam Larry recently? Is that a confirmed yeah. information? Yeah, Bookie that said make it. Sense? Yeah, yeah, exactly my point. Bookie said it. You want people to talk about what uh, piped the guy in the house and you're going after the person that uh, uh, bullied him? It doesn't make sense to me. And the final one that was that raised a bit of concern for me, like uh, Paparani always says sometimes that uh, maybe the guy that Baba is under sieges. Buki just said yesterday that um, there are lots of things they are hiding from Baba, and he's the principal in this case. He's the father of the deceased, so I don't know why they are hiding information from him. 
She confirmed it yesterday, saying, "Oh, you people calling Baba." She, I think she was referring to Chairman. I don't. I'm not quoting. I'm just saying my wide imaginations. Maybe she was referring to people hovering around Baba, trying to get one or two informations that even Baba doesn't know much about this case. We are hiding some information from him. This and it calls for concern. I feel so. Maybe that's why the man uh, Baba is all messed up in the brain. He he's not um, understanding. I don't know. They need to sit him down. You know, explain things to him like. Baba, we need to do this. Oh, you can't do that. Can't, can't Baba think. can't can't Baba do away with those people? Baba is a chorist. Baba is a is someone who owns a church. If you go to, he was on live this morning and he, he was um, he was preaching in the church to his uh, members. Who I see there that they are much. As in this man talk to people, he advise. And if you are a pastor, you you should also be also counseling people, trying to one way or the other, chipping into some people's and family situation, just like what he is facing now. So if you will be doing that as a pastor, don't you think you should be able to handle your case accordingly as you've seen that the public are behind you, largely? So that's what I'm saying. So you, sometimes we shouldn't be giving excuses in the wrong way. Baba need to come out and face the music because there is no time left now. And uh, what I wanted to say again is that some of these people who are around him, who he takes their word more, I would just say that when everything casts at the end, and some of these people like myself in the public that are still behind him that also come to attack people when you try to scrutinize him, some of these people, when the time comes, they will be even worse than me and you right now that is trying to tell him to do the right thing. That time is coming. That time is very, very close. They will be very, very upset. And he will be the one that will be dragged, not Goresi. He will be the one that people will cause more, not Goresi, not Muiwa. Because the public will see him, who is the one from the family that is seeking for justice, that they are giving their support to. So, he should make the right decision now. There are still elements that are out there that you can use to nail anybody in this case. There are, there are critical thinkers. There are people who are ready to help in this case with their brain to make sure that he win this case. But the question, the, 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 the question there now is that, is he himself not having anything to do with this, some one way or the other? Because when you want to talk, some people will say, uh, Baba is not in the house. Baba was not in the scene. Baba was um, called to come and he was eventually told to go back. He came by himself at the end of the day. All these things, people are saying, yes. But to some extension, if Baba is trying to say things about this whole thing, how it happens, is is keeping out some information and he's telling us some things. And I understand that to some limit he's been consistent. But there are things that he's not supposed to be keeping away as the person from that family that is seeking justice. You know? So this is my worry because at the end of the day, when this thing passed, when this whole thing did not go well, people that are holding to Baba now, the way they will come outside, it will be worse. So it's better for him to take that decision. Or the people who are working with him are being compromised. That is the question. I don't know. But the way it looks like, this is not how to get full justice. I think uh, for me, I think to, I think of uh, I think two things, yeah. Maybe Baba is a bit confused about the whole legal, you understand. I'm not talking about the situation, that's the scene that happened. I'm not talking about the buy stuff. I'm talking about the steps to take, you know, being of, of uh, his um, background. You understand? If not Baba, really. If Baba, Baba, Baba does not have the intellectual capacity to follow yeah. this case. We all know that. He's poor. We all know that. Yeah. Not that anyone is trying to, not, not that anybody is trying to laugh at his position. No, no. no. He's, not, he's not well connected in Nigeria. He doesn't know. He's just a carpenter. But he's not but taking carpenter. advantage of the yes. public sympathy, the empathy. But the carpenter, a, a capita is a technician also. A capita can calculate many things. So he can use that 
technical um, this ability as a carpenter to also follow his case. But I know that he doesn't have the intellectual capacity. He doesn't is not well groomed when it comes to legal things, the way yeah. he operates in Nigeria. Yeah, I agree. And that is where that is where he is lacking. So what I want to say to that is that if at all he's been hearing people talking about this case from it comes to platform to listing. It smuggles in, it smuggles out. So you cannot tell me that you as the prime minister or a president of a country, you have to choose who you want to work with, who wants to be your minister, right? Who wants to be your advisors? You have that yes. right to do that, isn't yes. it? Yes. So he's in that position to do that. So if a prime minister or a president, his um, ministers are not doing well, what the president does is sack them. Because if everything goes bad, it's the president that they're going to face, not that minister at the end of the day. So he is in that position to choose his team correctly. Yes, you are right. And uh, another thing is, personally, my own opinion, I don't think Baba needs all the likes of Gurexi uh, people, you know, shooting around him, running around him. I think what he needs is a very good lawyer, you understand, or lawyers. It could be too sound, you know, just sit him down, explain sometimes, to him. So, sometimes, uh, Ma, we talk about sans, 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 sans. There are good human rights lawyers that are not sans in Nigeria. Very, very logical ones and vast in law. There are even new ones that are even... What is, if I should ask you a question, now what has she to done since he took over this case? Can you answer that? Personally, then, I don't then. agree with Shitu to be, on, to be um, what's it called, to be um, honest. Because I've been following this case from September, you understand? The day that guy died, you understand? I was shocked. And so if you criticize, line, with that you just said now, with that you just said, if you, if you criticize Shitu now that you haven't done nothing, they want to tell you they're working on the ground, what do you want to hear? What you put, you are being funded by the public. Exactly. And like, let's say Shito has been on this case, if I'm correct, I think like three, four months now. Okay, was, Shito is the Shito is the lead counsel according to them. Sometimes they put out Odumosu. Sometimes okay, they put I'm even confused no. now. Okay, let's make it like that. Shito and Odumosu are in the case, right? Yeah. As Baba's lawyers. Yeah. The other day they were doing the last inquest sitting, they went to a hall and sat down, tried to do a press briefing regarding the case. I just see that as a party, as an hangout, where they go out and drink, to lament, to talk, you understand? They know even, where is their lead counsel? Where is she today? Where is Odumosu there, sitting there with them? Were they there? They were not there. So these are the things. We're talking about is that how is that how you fight for justice the people around him are just making him more confused what the man they just went there on that day of the inquest they went there on that day of the inquest and do party that is what i see and they come they're saying that they're doing press briefing and i don't, I don't know why people are not asking questions that um uh, 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 bank and smith they are out i hope the appeal you know the the whole thing i I how, just, did, how, how did she too came into this case? Nobody knows. All of a sudden, they just roll a GoFundMe. They just roll a GoFundMe. They yeah. roll out a GoFundMe, right. and eventually she too was there. And they said Odumo sued she too, and she too came to the case like that from that day. Even the last inquest, according to information, she too was not even present. This is not good for a case. This is the honest truth. This is not like you dragging Baba or you dragging anybody or you. This is the honest truth. This is not how to fight for justice. Anyway, it's obvious. Yeah, to round up my thoughts, I just believe Baba needs a good lawyer, be son or anyone. He doesn't need the likes of those people hovering around him, giving him uh, their own opinion. That's a uh, thing. Then he needs a good human rights activist, a very good one, to give him the courage to spread, you know, awareness. And I don't know, just give him good advice. I don't think he needs those people around him at all. Thank you very much. Uh, good afternoon and good morning. I just want to contribute to the uh, uh, conversation. To 87, how are you, my brother? Yeah, I'm good, Mr. Andy. How are you today? 
Yeah, not too bad. Uh, let me just, uh, I've been listening to you for about uh, maybe 15 or 10 minutes here about. Um, I just want to say this, maybe because I have a little privilege. I work with these people for a while. And one I thing that. I have noticed, I will just tell you, with what I saw when I, I was working with them, um, either you will take it or you will leave it. Baba Mobad, who happens to be Mr. Joseph Aloba, I will continue saying this. The man want justice for his son. The man want justice for his son, 100%. But the question we need to ask ourselves, why this man is not listening it's to the public opinion. And I will tell you the answer. It's very straightforward. It's not Baba. If you look what is going on on the social media, on this TikTok, if you see that Baba sitting down, if you can read his body language, the man is confused. Who is making decision? I can tell you, it's not Baba that is making decision. It's those who surrounded him, making decision for this man. You are just seeing few of them on TikTok, on social media. Some are not even on social media, and they are part of the same family of Aloba. Now, when you look at this man, it's like this man has been pinned to a corner. It's what the thousand that it will follow. It's just a pity for a man that wants justice for his son. And part of what conspire to the problem of Baba Mobad, I have said it few weeks ago is poverty money if Baba Mobad happens to be hotel dollar Adeleke all these big men in Nigeria yeah but when you say that when you say that sorry to, to just interject but when you say that part of poverty uh, as in the, the public have taken that role already no it's not like that you can see there was from it's the, not, from the, not, from the not, beginning. It's not, it's, not, it's not about money contributing now. It's not about money contributing either in the assets or go fund. It's not about the money now. The root of this problem is part of poverty. They have taken this man already before money is being contributed now. You understand? And to be honest with you, because I have listened to you, my brother, I can see that you are an intellectual person. From what you have said, I have gained a lot. It's like you are close to these people. That is exactly what is happening. But the only area that I can a bit disagree with you is Joseph Aloba. Why is he not taking that? And that is why I'm trying to keep him right now. That, you know what? This man wants justice, but those who surround him. You are seeing few people on social media, but as well, there's other people that you are not even seeing on social media. You understand? But if you look at all this, I will give you an, an example. Even we that we are on TikTok, we are we are calling Baba Mobad. We want you to leave out petition now. We want you to sue all these people. Let's assume in that we that we are on TikTok. We are gullible. We are not an intellectual. What about when Baba went to TVC? One of the lady asked Baba, who have you sued? It's not about petition. Baba go ahead and go as well to Arise TV. Lawyer Abati asked Baba, who have you sued? Baba said nobody. Can I say that we on TikTok, we are gullible? Can I say... Dr. Abati are gullible. Can we say all this lady on TV is gullible? No. 
And the question you need to ask yourself is this. Why Baba did not see anyone in the house, including Mumi and the and the person that bam, Mubad. You understand me? No, yeah, and not, and, sorry, and not only embalmment, he was dressed up. Where do they cut his clothes? Where do they measure him yeah, and so on? Okay. Yeah, I, I just mentioned, where, where do they I just bring all those materials from? Where yeah, do they I get all those things Those I are the things. I just mentioned few names. I just mentioned few names. What about the nurse? Who will we claim that he was the one that injected Mobad? This is where you need to ask yourself now. Why Baba is not suing all these people? You will need to think with our brain. And I will tell you the answer. It's very straightforward. These Baba have been pinned to a corner. But a time is coming. In God's time will come that every one of them will be exposed. Every one of them will be exposed. Because I believe in Joseph Aloba. He won justice. I will continue saying that. He wants justice for his son. Now, another point is this. We are talking about the lawyer. We are talking... When I'm talking about the legal team, me, I'm referring to the lawyers. I'm referring to the lawyers. I'm not referring to the associates of Baba. I'm referring to the lawyer. The question is this. But, but don't you think a client, a client that, that, that um, hired a lawyer... As the is the one that has the um, right to advise the lawyer to do what he wants, how the lawyer of, should of within within the of framework course. within the framework of the law to carry out whatever he wants him to carry on the Correct. possible. This yeah, is so, 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 yes, so let me explain this to you. If he didn't approach them or force them to do that, they won't do it as well. Let me because let me tell you. They might be compromised you also. You know that. Yeah, let me tell you this. Is where I want to put more light. You understand me? It's good that you brought it up again. Now, between me and you and everybody that is listening, Baba Aloba is the boss. The legal team are working for him. It's what it tells them to do the legal team we do. Am I making sense? Yeah. Good. Now, let's assume in between me and you and the lawyer now advised Baba, why can't you take this step so that we can get justice? Why can't you take this step so that we can go through this channel? Okay, why can't you go through this channel so that we can forge ahead, we can be ahead, times 50 ahead of our opposition? And those who are guiding Baba are telling Baba, no, that is not the way. That is why I said to you, those who surround Baba, they are the one that pinned this man. And the Baba now said, no, I'm not going from the legal advice that you advised me. I'm not doing. Do you think as a lawyer, we force his clients to do what he don't want to do? The answer, they can't force him. You understand me? Now, because I believe one thing is this the reason you you, you ask the question why did we hire san shitu i was part of the associates that close to baba then the reason is this the public are clamoring for a son sorry you um, before that. you go for that sorry before you go for that did before you bring san shitu on board did you guys at any time do any research on him before you employ him well, because I'm that is not, vital. That yes, is very, very vital. It's a very good question because people have been asking me this very good question. Now, I'm not part of the people that brought in Sanshitu. You understand me? But during that time, I listened to the public. When we are on a phone group call, I said to them, people are complaining about the barrister that we are using. The public want a son. You understand me? And it was after they've negotiated everything. I don't know anything. And they called me Andy. We've gone. We've now got Sanshitu. 
that is all what I was aware. I was not part of the people that discussed the incoming when they brought in Sanshitu. I was not part. And they cannot quote me anywhere that I was part of the team that brought Sanshitu. They just call me, oh, Andy, we've gotten a new son now. His name is Sanshitu. Take his name. Go and go, go. That is all what I knew about Sanshitu. Until this moment, I have never for a second talked with Sanshitu. Okay, what would, you say he has done, would you say he has done well since he took over? Well, to the best knowledge of myself, I don't think so. Okay, that's what we're talking about. The case, the case, the case is not moving. Okay, it, there is no it's headway. Yeah, there, yes. there is no headway, there is no progress. There is no, no momentum to the public, for the public to say, yes, I can, let's, I let's, can let's keep... I can even tell you that the momentum is down. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Now, there is infighting, there are name callings, there are people dragging one another, and um, this is what we are seeing right now. But the truth about the matter is that now they conducted their own private autopsy and toxicology tests, right? So um, my, my, my concern about that test right now is what would that test reveal? What would that test show? Would that test show when Mubar died? Or would that test show when he died and uh, what killed him? As in, these are some of the sensible questions that we're supposed to be looking for, answers for. Because this whole we know that when you are conducting a toxicology test for a dead person, you're supposed to reveal, give you all of those information, right? All right. Okay. So should we patiently wait to see what they're coming up with? Well, I will wait. I want to wait for the results before I can say anything. So if it doesn't reveal none of those things, would you say the body has been compromised or they that run the test have been compromised? Wow, I want to reserve my comments because a lot is still coming out. A lot is still coming out. I want to reserve my comments. Because the government, the government has been very, very technical on this case. They're keeping information, we all know that. So they are very, very technical in the sense that they've come up with some bogus results and reports about the autopsy. Sorry, I'm going to mute. Um, I want to receive a call, yeah? Okay, and, um, and um, they're trying to tell us that Mubad died on the 12th, according to their report. And they're trying to make sure that every information they are putting forward go in line with that. Because they're trying to, because there are, there are, there are confess, confessing evidence that is out there. Statements from the mother that says that Mubad died on Monday. From his friend that said that Mubad died on Monday, that they do music together. So, the government have this information already, so they don't want to make sure, that they, 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 they try to make sure that they don't come out with any result that will try to reveal the day that Mobile died because of that information that is out there. So they've been very, very technical on how they've been trying to uh, hide information about or to, re, or to hide information about this case. And now we are con now. Mr. Loba is conducting his own private autopsy and toxicology, so I I, I think that should as in they should be able to provide those information that the government is trying to hide. So that is that is how I see it because um, because the government didn't want to come out with a result that is we we say a lot of things. So they're just trying to play around. Even you can even look at the convention of um, the um, in bracket the um, the commissioner of information when it was uh, trying to when it was lamented. They were not straightforward about what they are doing 
as a government that they've sent the results, uh, I mean, the, the, the sample to the US NMS lab and it's going to take 10 weeks. But they've initially told us that the autopsy and toxicology test were, 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 was conducted already. Not until Brekete it has to ask them before they now start coming out again and they're just taking sample again to the US. So yeah, you can you can really see that things are not right. Things are not straight. Things are not correct with the way they, they're trying to um, keep a very vital information that will take us to the truth. So they've damaged that 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 side of things right now. They've they've been technical, they've tried to play their card in a very way, but we can still expose them. But the problem is that who are these people working directly with Papa Muba that cannot see all of these things to pin the government in that direction? That is the question. Because this man went with the cops to ask for a report to pull this body in the morgue. It was denied. A citizen of Nigeria, a citizen, not a foreigner, a citizen. It's just like now, do you know what that means? For you to say you overlooked that. A government has treated you that way. They've denied you your fundamental human right to come and collect a legitimate uh, um, a, 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 a document that you are entitled to. to. Not that you're coming to steal it. You are entitled to. It's your right to ask for that report. And you were denied. What is the cogent reason for them to deny you that report? And till now, up to now, you're still keeping silent about that police station that have treated you that way. And they're putting the blame on you now that you bury your son on time. And that story happens where you approach them and you have been denied. It's just like now, the police, we all know how the police operate in Nigeria. If I'm a meat seller and I have meat on my van, on, in my van, I'm transporting meat from Lagos to Ibadan, and the police stops me on the way, would they question me or they will stop me? They will not check, they will not ask, what am I doing? Am I a meat? They will investigate me very, very much before they allow me to go. They will ask questions before they allow me to go. They will not just stop my van and say, oh, you the same meat. Okay, let them go, 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 that van. Now meat seller, they go. They will do thorough investigation. They will ask thorough questions before they will allow me to leave. How much more you come to a station with a dead body, with people surrounding you, present, and police are not ready to do it. And police are not ready to help from that onset. And now you have put your two, two, two legs on the on the floor. You cannot even say, okay, let me first of all start to sue these people from that aspect. That is, uh, there, there is, there is something, there is something going on that. In the, in the long run, we're going to hear, but all these people that are saying that people are insulting Baba, people, you should try to rethink and understand that nobody hates him. Even me, I look at this case, look at this matter, the way it's been going since September, and with the work that has been done so far, and the way they are approaching this quest for justice, I, I don't think we are anywhere close, to be honest. There is no need to be emotional. You, Baba has to face the music right now. There is no need to be emotional or trying to come to say, oh, this man lost his son. And uh, the, everybody that is here today seeking this justice or part of this quest for justice might have lost loved ones as well. That is, that is the truth about the matter. Most of us must have lost our loved ones during this justice thing. 
But we are still here today trying to still seek justice for Moba. Because we are trying to sanitize that country where the things that, because you are rich, you can just take someone out. Or because you are highly connected, you can do whatever you want to somebody that is not privileged to be connected. That is, and this case is a very good case to do that. Many people, there are many, like, like myself, I'm someone who has passionate for justice, as in, as in, I hate wrongdoings. I hate when someone will just see somebody and say, I want to chance that person because I am powerful in society or I'm influential in society. I want to use that power against that person. I think if we get this right, if we get this right, there will be a lot of changes with the way some of these rich people think before they do anything. That is just what I just want to say anyway, because um, this thing has been going, it's 10 months now, we're still hanging around, asking questions, you know? The people who committed this crime, they are one place laughing. Why would you go to a show, then a, 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 an argument or call, according to the testimonies, fighting, this, that, that. Not that they shoot somebody with gun, no. Then all of a sudden, somebody die. Then people are around him. From these people, we cannot know the truth. Cannot, as in, no one can come out to say this is what happened. That is what happened. As fast as Nigerians are, we are looking at this in front of us for these people to go scot free. These murderers to go scot free. That would be like <laughs> we've turned to Banana Republic. I've listened to people debate this whole thing. There are people who are passionate, fighting hard to make sure this justice prevail. We are too smart for the government to win this case. We are too smart for the government to win this case. They shouldn't come with that flimsy narrative to say, ah, oh, you can't fight government. Government is too powerful. Government, there are many, many lapses that they've done that you can use to prosecute them. In this case, in this case, you don't need to be a criminal lawyer to see them. You don't need to be a criminal lawyer to see them. Why will you be saying we can't fight government? Is that the excuse you want to come out with at last to say that, oh, we can't fight government, we tried, we can't fight government? Because that is what they're coming out with all the time. That is what they're trying to, that is what they're trying to build up. That is what they're building up to. We cannot fight government, we've tried, we cannot fight government, we do everything, we petition this, we petition that, the government is this, the government. I, you are having a legal team with you? My advice is, if Papa Moba knows that, he's not ready to go ahead with his justice, let it come out, put the case to the public, and sit aside and let the public manage this case for him. Where we need him, he will come to sign. Simple. Don't tell us you can't fight government. We are fighting justice for Mubad. We want to use Mubad case to send a message. Whether you are king, whether you are governor, whether you are police commissioner, 
whatever you think you are, if you are involved, if you try to be, if you are part of it, you are going down. Don't tell us you can't fight government. I don't want to hear that. That is an insult. You can't fight which government? Is government not part of the public? When you even come out to say you can't fight government, you are giving them power more to even do bad things. Baba was in church this morning praying, singing, dancing with his with his with his followers. If his Baba, if 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 Baba have any mental disorder, he will be in a psychiatric hospital. He won't be in the church today morning now. What are we talking about? Nobody is dragging Baba. Nobody is trying to say. Nobody is displaying hatred towards him. This is from the position of love. When you love somebody, you criticize that person accordingly. It is when you don't love someone, when someone is not doing the right thing, then you want to be telling him what he wants to hear so that he will think he will be happy, he will feel comfortable. We, oh, yeah, my friend, tell me. Ah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm doing wrong. But you're doing wrong, but he's telling you, oh, you did well, man. No problem. You are doing the right thing. <laughs> Nobody's nobody is hating on him. We just let the right thing be done. It's very it's a very clear message. Why will someone kill your child? Or what your child left behind? You don't know A, you don't know A, you don't know nothing. What is going on right now? DNA saga is there. I'm hearing you did not meet up. Uh, there was no agreement between you and the other side. What sort of agreement is that? I don't understand. Every 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 step that you are taking, you are not approaching it well in a professional way. That's why there are lapses. Somebody wants to. You are not sure of the paternity of that of that of, of of your grandchild then you are still going out to say that he's married to your son you're supposed to find a way now how to disannounce that marriage right now all these things are possible within the law So it's very, very sad with the position we are right now. We are in a tight corner. And it seems like justice is going away. No one of those people in the house that was, no one of those people, no one of those people that are even in a position where we can say, okay, one of them is being held and being questioning, questioned to, as in, none. <laughs> who wants to say whatever, who wants to say something should say, who wants to ask questions should ask questions. Um, skill, um, good, af good afternoon, good afternoon, everyone on the platform. And I just want to ask you something. You are saying that um, Papa is not following, um, the right way to to get justice for more. I believe that. Mm. I just want to find out from you. Have you tried to reach out to to Papa uh, um, spokesperson, Mr. Mew, who had given? He's watching us. Sleepless nights, some of us. Mm. The whole of Africa is watching us.